There's some good news and some bad news about tonight. Um, the good news, the food. Yeah, fried chicken, pandan pancakes. Looking forward to that, sounds decent. Bad news, Jamie was invited. Yeah, he's just been an idiot all day. <laughs> Staying in is the new going out, but only if you've got great food and your mates with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any other friends, but the food is incredible. In each of these episodes, two of us cook up something awesome to share and to kickstart our big night in. Oh, what is Look this? Look at this. No. We have some incredible Asian-inspired crispy so chicken. So excited. Yes. Wow. A honey and tamarind glaze and and then coconut pancakes. So grab yourself a pancake or two. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. You're in a very mischievous mood this evening. Right, so I'm, a, I'm, I'm confused by the fact we have pancakes and fried chicken. Right, think, think to America. I'm there. Chicken and waffles is a thing, isn't it? What we've done is take that and thought, that is a great concept. Yep. Why don't we fuse it with some Asian flavors? Yeah. And also, waffles, I don't know. Let's try it with pancakes and see what happens. Yeah, because they're exactly the same, aren't This they? is what happens. Nice. Right. So try the chicken first. Hold the, hold the phone. I'm wow. in my happy place now. The most succulent chicken I think great. I've ever had. Mm. And the reason being, chicken thigh. Mm. Taking it off the bone, mm -hmm. so you haven't got to cook it for quite as long, which means you can cook it really quickly. And wow. we coated it. The first step to creating some of the best crispiest chicken ever is the pre-cook stage. All we're going to do is chuck some chicken thighs into some buttermilk with a little bit of soy sauce as well and then we'll roll that into some flour which has also got some onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper and Chinese five spice in it. Plus we're going to season up the chicken right at the start. It always has to have the final word doesn't it? Can't let me just have a moment. Once you've prepped your chicken, the next stage is to cook it. Now we're going to use a deep fat fryer. You can just use a pan of oil, but never leave it unattended. The important thing is it has to be 180 degrees. We're going to put the chicken in there for three to four minutes, and then we're going to bake it in the oven for a few more minutes whilst we prep everything else. Now that, this is different. I, I'm not sure where this is going to take me. I've not tried the pancake yet, and I'm going to mix the two. Go for it. I really like the pancake. It's slightly sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very fragrant, and the colour kind of gets you talking about it. What is it? Why mm. is it? For the pancakes, take two eggs and whisk them up to the light and fluffy, then whisk in everything else. We've got flour, corn flour, a raising agent, a bit of sugar, coconut milk instead of regular milk, and our secret ingredient, pandan. So this really is fusion food. Joel wanted to know what fusion food is there that is really easy to make? Um, again, very subjective. It's any food that you can easily make. Maybe a pizza, so, something yeah. like that. That's quite simple. Make a pizza dough, but then instead of Italian flavours, you could easily go um, chicken tikka. Oh, a chicken yes. tikka pizza is actually quite common in the UK now. I've had duck and plum sauce. Yeah, or barbecue pizza. sauce. Yeah, which is kind of an American take. They're all fusion around that similar kind of idea. So basically, take two foods that you just really love and you know how to make, and see if they work. Experiment. Yeah. Yeah. And some of them won't, but Ooh. most of them will. Yes, this one does. We made one batch of the pancake batter mm. and then we split it because we had a little disagreement. Well, the question is, how much panda anus do you need to put into your pancake? Panda anus. Pan what? Pa panda anus. You did not say panda anus straight away. <laughs> you put a little bit of an emphasis on a certain part of that. <laughs> and then for the flavouring, and this is so unique to say, it's so familiar, smell it. Southeast Asia yeah. often put the leaves, the pandan leaves, into rice dishes or infused milk. It's almost nutty botanical. It is. It smells, it smells slightly almondy. Yeah. Slightly. But it's um, so it's called pandan, and it actually comes from a panda anus. Pa pandanus. Panda. Is that what they call it for short? They just <laughs> combine the words, which obviously is quite rare now, isn't it? Incredibly. Well. Yeah. <sighs> we get only a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Okay. There we go. That's the menthol colour. I think. We want? Nope. You cook off the ones that you need. Yeah, menthol. Nice. I will then go all out go and uber make green. uber green. I'm going to go ninja turtles. Okay. All you need to do is take the batter and cook it in a medium heat frying pan with some melted butter, probably a minute or two on each side. Oh, now that, that's, that's more like it. 
That now clashes with your shirt. Now if you look carefully, you might be able to tell there's a slight difference. A subtle shade of... Ben's pancakes, Jamie's pancakes. Yeah. One Otherwise, of us is colourblind, one of us isn't. I'll, I'll let you decide. He I'm told not... me they were green and I didn't agree. They are definitely green. They definitely are definitely green. green, but how do they taste? They are sweet. They do leave an aftertaste. <laughs> You, there's no point saying, oh yeah, we put some green stuff in that, and you go, really thought you see it. Um, <laughs> whereas this one, it's like, whoa, who killed Kermit? <laughs> <laughs> and served him with, it's not Miss Piggy, but there's probably a chicken in, in the Muppets, isn't there? And this sauce. Just Tell me more. No pancake and crispy chicken would be complete without awesome sauce. This oh. awesome sauce oh. is a honey and tamarind glaze. All you need oh. to do is throw loads of stuff into a pan. Water, ketchup, honey, tamarind, red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, and some finely diced ginger. Reduce it to a syrup, and it's ready to serve. Have you ever thought about um, memorising cards? <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients are much easier, and recipes are much easier to remember, because they're emotive. Okay. You just go back to the last time you tasted it, and you... I wanted to drink this glaze from a cup, in it all is, honesty. It is a good glaze. Yeah. Exceptional. Gonna put it out there. Nice. Exceptional. Really enjoyed you that. Hey Mike, is that time of week again? Hey, I've got a question. Yeah, well, have you really? <laughs> As if he didn't know. Oh. It's not my question, <laughs> it's actually from someone else. Uh, it's from uh, Slippery When Wet, and she asks, if we could master one skill immediately, what would it be and why? I, I would like the ability to fly. Birds know how to fly, don't you're they? You're talking they have, they adaptation. The... Yeah. So you're not teaching your human body to do a skill. Well, of course I am. <laughs> your evolution, Ben. Oh, what about humour? Do you, think, do you think that would be a yeah, really useful? What a great skill you could improve on. You, you could have I, that. Or yeah. the gift of when to stop. Maybe that's a better one. Maybe have that one. So you've taken that a bit out of the box. You haven't gone, what skill can humans do that I can't, I'd ben, like it. You've ben, gone I would fictional fly. skills. To be honest, <laughs> Slippery hasn't really specified which. <laughs> just Are your first name terms. terms. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Bez? I like to dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that. I've never seen that one coming. Wow. I, as a kid, you go to the club, and you, like, you, you see all the cool kids in the corner, like dropping low and doing backflips and like worming and roboting and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, you know what? That is a skill. And I mean, you did grow up in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. and then maybe like learn today's dance moves, but yeah, see what we mean. Like, <laughs>